What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning, and uh, and and hope you're all having a great start of the week, a great start of the Monday. Uh, but welcome to this video as well, in which we will cover Quant again, or QNT. That's abbreviation. Most most of you know. Um, I'm gonna quit saying that. I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> it's it, it, it doesn't do anything. Um, but yeah, so we're covering Quant. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the price, not so much at the project. I, I cover the project. If if, if you want to. Uh, see that just go to the playlists on this channel and check like crypto reviews i think i think it's called and i did a full review on quant it's an amazing project um it's, it's been pretty bullish yesterday we, we got a big bullish move uh, that's also when i what when i was alerted because I'm, I'm looking for some sort of a trade on quant i have been looking at that for first i quickly wanted to grab your attention from a new partner bing x Bing X is one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges out there. It's 100% legit and you have a lot of cryptos to trade and buy. And apart from that, if you sign up right now through the link down in the description, you get a 10% off all transaction fees forever and you can get up to a $125 bonus for free. Now let's get on with the rest of the video. It's, uh, it's not necessarily that much compared to the market cap, but volume of quant is always uh, relatively low. That's uh, the main reason for that. that there's no bad reason for that. It's just uh, like um, if, if enterprises use quant, they have to hold quant and they have to keep holding it. They cannot, they, they, they cannot like transfer it or, or transact it. And so you're going to have quite a, quite a big portion of that market cap just, just sitting around, right? That, that's actually pr pretty bullish. <laughs> the, the lower the volume in, 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 uh, uh, in relation to the market cap, the better for quant. Uh, but let's get right into it. So believe it or not, but this analysis um, actually was from my previous quant video, which was like three or four days ago. Um, you can always check it out. I never delete videos, but um, but yeah. So yesterday in the Discord we were talking about it. Make sure to join that because there are quite a lot of quant uh, traders in 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 the Selenix Crypto Discord. Link is down in the description. Uh, but yeah, I, I expected us to drop down to this 160 level. I kind of hoped to drop down to 150. You can see I have a price alert there because I would love to buy from there. Um, but it seems like we're, we're not doing that anymore because as you can see, I'm, I'm still sticking by this analysis. Uh, even though the market is losing a little bit of its bullish momentum, it's still bullish. Uh, we're still in, in, a, in, a, in a bullish market structure on, on the short term for, for Bitcoin and, and therefore for the market. Um, the thing now for Quant is that we need to break above this resistance level at around uh, 173. And I think we can do that, all right? I, I, as you can also see fr from the analysis, I, I think we can do that and actually... Um, you know, I'm, I'm not necessarily sure if, if we'll get into an uptrend all the way up to 200 immediately, but the market structure will become a little bit more bullish. Um, but the thing is, it, it's not necessarily, I think right now we got a, got a good shot at breaking above 173. Could also be that we have to do something like this, uh, drop back down to 166 and then break above that. But I, but I, am, I am expecting that bullish breakout. Um, pretty soon and then from there we'll, we'll get up to 185 186 and i do expect some resistance there we could even consolidate a little bit here uh, but in the next weeks i am expecting a break also above 194 and that will slowly get back up to our uh, price targets between 210 and 220 and, and then from there i think we got a fair shot at actually getting to 240 and uh, and 250 but that's really so, so, so something for in the future and, and when we get started with, with more bullish momentum uh, I will definitely cover quant every day, all right. So, so don't worry about that. But for now, um, for now, it's 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 looking pretty strong. The one thing you should know is that in two days, uh, we'll have some strong fundamentals for crypto. We'll have the Federal Reserve interest rates that could um, could change this a little bit if that's bearish, at least. If it's bullish, it's just going to accelerate this. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll make a full video on that entire interest rate uh, soon. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, but for now, this is my coverage. Oh, no, it's not. I, I wanted to let you know what trade I'm taking. Uh, excuse me. So right now we're waiting for this breakout above 173. I'll, 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 I'll probably take a break retest off of that level. Uh, if we actually uh, break above that, I think I'll, I'll take a trade like this, take some profits right here and then uh, let the rest run until like up here. That uh, would be an amazing trade. And I'm, my, my stop loss is probably a little bit tighter, something like this. Um, but yeah, so it would be an amazing trade. That's something I'm looking for. But obviously, that's uh, that's just the, the typical disclaimer. It's not financial advice. It's just what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, for now, that's my take on Quant. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you all for watching and listening. Take care and bye.